Now this problem is, uh, we have a rectangle P Q R S, and this is here, and that is kept in X by plane. And the length of this loop is A and width of this loop is B. That is given to you. Z axis along this direction. This is my Y axis. This is my X axis. And question says there exists a magnetic field in this region. And the magnetic field is given by this function B is equal to 3I plus 4K B naught. So now I know the magnetic field. That is B is equal to in a vector form I can write. This is B naught. Are 3i plus 4k. So I can write this is 3i plus 4k. So this is my magnetic field. So if you see, we can plot, if you wish, you can plot this magnetic field. So this magnetic field is something like an xk plane. So this is your y axis, or no, z axis, and this is your x axis. So this is an xz plane. So magnetic field exists only in xz plane. 3i 4k. So then let us say this distance is 3 unit and this distance is 4 unit. So I will have somewhere here. So this distance is 3 unit and this. Th so my magnetic field is oriented along this line. Are you getting or not? So this is the direction of magnetic field B. Are you getting? This is an xz plane. If you see here in diagram. This is in plane XZ, so this is in this plane, this is in this plane, are you getting or not? Now the question says, if I leave this loop, this loop is freely joined on point PQ, if I leave this loop, this remains in equilibrium, horizontal position it remains in equilibrium. So what should be the direction of current in PQ? So we have to find what is the direction of current I in PQ or SR. So basically in whole loop you will have only one direction of current either clockwise or anti-clockwise. You see if this loop remains stationary, this means there should be a force that is applied. So basically mg force that is acting in the downward direction. So there should be a force that should be applied in the upper direction. Then only you will have this loop remain a stay because that this PQ, this axis about this axis, you will have a torque of bed. So bed is acting from this point. So if this, there is no force, this bed will act from here and this loop will fall down. But there should be a force and that force should be upward and that's why you will have get, you will get a upward torque. So you see, you can first calculate direction of force and then you can decide force, there should be a Z component of force, otherwise you cannot have equilibrium. You will have a Z component of force, then you will have equilibrium, then you can decide are uh, the direction of current. So let us say find out the force in RS. First let us do find force in RS or SR. So I am interested in force in, so we are finding first part that is force in RS. So if I find force in RS, that is the bar section RS, the so force is nothing but I delta L cross B. So I delta L cross B. And now let us for the timing assume that this current is from R to S. So let us assume uh, if this comes out to be negative then finally I will put this negative. So let me say this current is from R to S. So my direction of current is R to S. So this is the direction of current. So this I am assuming. So this is the direction of current. Direction of I is this R to S. So this is the direction of I. Are you getting? Now you see R to S you will have, so what is the direction of delta L? So this is minus Z because this is my y axis. If I take this is minus R to S, this is minus K, uh, sorry minus Z and the magnitude is B. So what is the DL vector? So DL vector is minus BZ. So vector DL I can write that is same as nothing but minus BZ. Are getting because j is what j is in the inside direction. I have a uh, j is outside direction, so minus j. Now let us calculate i delta l cross b. So force is i is magnitude and delta is I know i delta is minus b j and cross b. What is b? B is nothing but b naught and 3i plus 4k. So this is the value. Now if you calculate this, you will have b naught i b so these are things common things i can take this outside minus and i will have j cross 3i plus 4k 
Now you have to have I cross Z cross K. So this is my I and this is my Z and this is my K. Are you getting or not? So this is my K. So I cross, why not J cross I? J cross I is minus K. So J cross I is minus K. So this is B not I B and J cross I is nothing but minus K. So this is minus 3K. J cross K, so J cross K is plus I. So J cross K is plus I. Are you getting or not? So this is J cross K. So this is plus I. So this is 4I. And if I multiply with the minus sign B naught I B and this is 3k minus 4i. Are you getting? So this is the force. Now you see here there is a component of force that is in the positive k direction. So that is what? 3b naught. So what is Fz I can say? Fz is nothing but 3b naught i b and this is positive. So this is positive. So this means so whatever the direction of current I have taken is right. If I have taken opposite, I should have got minus sign that is not acceptable. So direction of current in RS I have taken that is uh, okay. So this is from R to S. So if this is current in RS is R to S, then even PS you will have S to P and here you will have P to Q and here you will have here because current has to uh, follow the loop. Are you getting or not? So this is the direction of current you will have. So I can show you the same thing again if you wish. So this is my loop. So this is the loop you have. And so this is the axis about which it can rotate. So this is the direction of current. And this is something like this. Are you getting or not? So this is the direction of current. Next part of the question says calculate I. So now I can calculate I using equilibrium so there is a force that is acting from the center of mass and this force will be mz so from the center of mass i will have a force mz so mg force acts from the center of mass and now about this point i have to calculate torque of this fz force so we have calculated fz on this part we're getting on what about this part and this part this force will not give the z component. So let us try. If you see, uh, what is the PS, direction of PS, that is minus i. If you take i delta L cross b, so i vector will have here. And so let me write, so let me explain. Okay, let us calculate the force in sp. So what is the vector sp? So what is the delta L for sp? This is this length is a and this is going in the minus x direction so this is minus a i so if i say force in sp so force in sp this is i delta l is what minus a i cross b so this is minus a i b is what 3 i plus 4 k b naught 3 i plus 4 k b naught so i can write so this is cross 3 i plus 4k b naught. Are you getting or not? If I take cross product, what I will have? I will have b naught a i and this is i cross i is 0. I have to apply a minus sign and i cross k. i cross k is what? Minus j. So minus j and minus of minus plus. So this is the force. Now see this force is in j direction. So this is in not z direction. So there is no force in the z direction due to the sp part. So this means this is the sp so there is no force in the y direction, or z direction basically. Corresponding there will be no force due to this part. So this is Q R S. So due to Q R again there will be no force in the z direction. This is again in the y direction. So this means so only force that will act in the z direction on S R on P Q and S R as well as P Q. But I have to take moment about this line. So I have to consider only this force. So this is my Fz and the magnitude we have already calculated. So what is the moment? So moment of weight should be equal to the moment of this force. So Fz into what is this distance? This distance is A. Are you getting or not? So this distance is A as I remember. So let us check this distance is A or not. Yeah, this distance is A. So this distance is A. So Fz into A this is equals to 
m0 into a by 2. So you can cancel out a. So what you will have? So you will have fz is equals to m0. So from here you can calculate m. So m is nothing but fz by z. And we know fz. What is fz? So fz is 3b not i by b. 3b not i b. 3b not i b. So 3b not. 3b not. I B and this 2 I have left basically 2 will go this side so I will have 2 F Z I will have here 2 F Z so 3 into 2 so I will have 6 so the final force will be M I can write M is equals to 6 B naught and I have to divide this by Z also 6 B naught I B divided by Z are you getting or not so you see one important point we have and that is basically we have to calculate what are the torques that will applied in the z direction so you see the only torque is important in z direction is on rs that is fz 